<laughs> All right, wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. You tried to main the Street Fighter guys for a while, couldn't get the combos down, even to a rudimentary level, gave up on them as soon as you realized how much time that you'd have to put into learning them, and now that Terry is out, you think this is gonna be different, because you've decided to blame your prior shortcomings on Ryu and Ken being poorly designed, rather than admitting that maybe your fat, non-dextrous sausage fingers are the things that were poorly designed. What, you thought I was gonna go easy on you and act like you're here because you were a fan of the Fatal Fury series? Dude, if you had asked me a year ago who Terry Bogart is, I would've told you that was some British slang for an STD. Don't act like you know the first thing about this Ash Ketchum's roided up older brother looking ass goof. Just accept who you are and let's move on to the tutorial, you dig? Radical. Let's get to it then. So let me start this video off by saying that Terry Bogart is in no way an easy character to learn. He has entire 10-page thesis papers dedicated to the inputs required to perform a single move of his. He always faces his opponent in one-on-one -on -one matches, which is really helpful in some cases, but really inconvenient in others. The strength of his special attacks can be altered based on how long you hold down the button, with a quick tap producing a weak move and a harder press producing a stronger one. Pressing the attack button directly after spot dodging does a counter attack that deals 13% damage, and he can perform special moves with the attack button, which is so fun when you're trying to use your side special to recover, or a back aerial to edge guard, you know, like a normal human being. And then Terry decides that he's gonna be cute and just perform some janky ass somersault midair in the complete wrong direction, and then you just die at 12% like and look like an idiot, and... If I ever find out who gave the okay to put that function into the game, Fatal Fury would be an understatement for the wrath that would be unleashed upon them. But until that day, I will accept that I'm too stubborn to move to joystick aerials and move on. Because see, Terry may be a bit of a complicated character, but that doesn't mean that you have to play him the way he was meant to be played. Allow me to explain. Spamming. Some call it the poor man's win condition, others call it the desperate last ditch effort strategy, but I call it a one-way ticket to breaking a person's willpower. And although Terry has a great many moves that you can utilize to beat down your opponent, just over 30 moves to be exact. Thanks to your notable lack of skill and minimal capacity for critical thinking, I'll have you focus on just three of them. One for keeping them far away, one for avoiding them like a bitch, but a smart bitch, and one for getting up close and personal. Let's start with Terry's neutral special. So this move is a little flame projectile that charges towards your opponents on the ground. Now, most people who know their way around a Joy-Con or two will tell you that you're never going to win this game by just repeatedly pressing the B button. And that's fair. But allow me to introduce you to something that we in the business call challenging the status quo. It's certainly true that you won't be getting any e-girls numbers anytime soon by lazily throwing out projectiles and hoping it works, but you aren't going to be throwing those little sizzlers out arbitrarily. You need to know when they work best. When your opponent is jumping around above you, off the stage where the projectiles can't reach, using their shield or just behind you, that's definitely a no-go. On the other hand, when your opponent is standing still, charging an attack, or rushing straight for you, go buck wild, kid. The more the merrier. Just keep that in mind and don't be stupid about it and you'll be fine. Well, be a little stupid about it, but like just stupid enough that it's annoying, but not so stupid that it's leaving you wide open. That being said, when you do find yourself metaphorically presenting your big old derriere to your opponent, you can get out of those situations in a pinch by using Terry's down special, Power Dunk. So this move has a lot of utility in a wide variety of situations. Offensively, it hits opponents on the rising hit, it hits opponents again on the falling hit, and if you enhance the move, it can spike on the way down, leaving quite the ouchie in its way. Defensively, if you want to get out of a tight spot, you input the move and you ride those golden archers all the way to victory. It's also useful for recovering onto the stage, with the enhanced version sending Terry further than the normal version and even making you intense tangible for the first half of the move. Also, fun fact, when using this move, Terry will shout power dunk, he yaw, or bingo as he goes soaring through the air. So next time this creatine Ken doll is completely beating somebody's ass to a pulp, just remember that those are his battle cries of choice. And now to finish off this unstoppable trifecta, let's discuss Terry's side special, which I guess is kind of two side specials, but it's still considered one in the rule books, so I'm just gonna say close enough. The first half of this special is performed when inputted towards your opponent, and it's basically just a rocket propelled fist. High knockback, a good recovery tool, and a can be enhanced for more damage and more distance. If you want to completely reconstruct your opponent's face, this would probably be the tool to do so. But for a faster, safer, more kicky alternative, you can instead opt for Terry's other side special, which is performed when inputted away from your opponent. So I guess you could call it his back special, but that just sounds too much like a euphemism for putting it in the butt. So I'm going to avoid using that term if at all possible. Now, as we take a look at these three moves in conjunction, the strategy itself, fucking infallible. It's simple, it's effective, and most importantly, when done right, it's utterly infuriating to play against. Now let's focus on that last part because these words may have just inspired something in a select few of you. Your ears perked up, your eyes began to twinkle. Maybe you pumped a little semi-chubster. No judgment here, it's happened to all of us. Well friend, what you're feeling down in your dingle dongle and or Kuchimus Maximus is the alluring sensation
gratification that comes from a love of fucking with people. And the only thing more morally deflating than getting beat by the guy who's riding the B button like a goddamn mechanical bull is when that absolute numbnut starts giving you tips on how to play like they're somehow helping you. See, listen to this. Oh, what's my strategy? <laughs> I never thought you'd ask. Typically, I enter early stock engagements with a down tilt because of its low startup lag and ability to chain into itself as well as other moves. Specifically, when using this as a combo setup, I like to use it a couple times consecutively before inputting other moves. Most commonly, I choose to follow up with a forward special, back special, down special, forward aerial, or neutral aerial. I also find the oppressive capabilities of Terry's forward tilt and forward, back, and down thrust to be very conducive for edge guarding setups. I personally find forward aerial to be the optimal aerial for continually pushing opponents back. However, I can't deny the satisfaction I receive from hitting the sweet spot on Terry's down special. And to say that I don't occasionally indulge in edge guarding tactics involving the flaunting of my special moves would be a bit misleading. So do you see what I mean? What the fuck was that? Like, I guess that's all valuable information for a little number crunching frame data analyzing Virgin Supreme. But like, if I were you, I would punch me right in my stupid fucking face for saying that. Luckily, my face is not stupid. And if you tried to punch it, you would likely just break the screen that you're watching this on. But the point remains, act like you're a fucking legend and your opponents will be absolutely beside themselves with anger, which only makes it easier to completely style on their asses as they struggle to regain composure. But what's this? Looks like the strategy isn't working. And Terry's taking a pretty hefty chunk of damage. Exactly 100% damage, to be specific. So now I have to play it safe or else I'm gonna lose a stock. But I don't want to play it safe. I'll look like a pussy. And what if a girl is watching? And there's no way that I'm gonna use my smash attacks. Even though up smash is a really powerful uppercut that can leave an opponent's jaw in pieces, side smash completely obliterates any opponent bold enough to get within kicky foot distance, and down smash breaks your opponent's kneecaps faster than they can say Nancy Kerrigan. I mean, who would ever want to use moves like that? Yuck! I need something with more complexity. If only Terry possessed some sort of weird and unnecessarily technical mechanic that allowed me to just wave my hand and take my opponent's stock laughably early. Too bad no such thing does nor ever will exist. Oh well, might as well just bash my head against the controller and hope for the best like I always do. <laughs> Oh, wow! What was that really cool move? <laughs> Wait a second, silly me! My dense monkey skull must have just pressed the very specific button combination required to activate one of Terry's go moves. So once Terry reaches 100%, he gains access to two new moves. Input one of these two very simple and not at all difficult to do joystick maneuvers, and you'll perform the corresponding move. This is what many players would call completely fucking broken and way too powerful, but in anime, this is simply referred to as the win condition. And that sounds a whole lot more elegant to me, so that's the one that I'm gonna stick with, and the one that you should stick with too, because because if you use all of these moves that I've taught you today to the most of their infuriating capabilities, and if your friends are similarly, you know, cognitively defunct, then you'll be taking games faster than you can say. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, see what I did there? It's, see, it's funny, because it's like, that's the thing that Terry says, but you know what, never mind. Drain hard, troll harder, and remember that if things still don't work out after this, you can always just switch back to Ken and nobody will be able to tell the difference. Until next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe because I want attention constantly. I, j I can't have enough of it. Num num num. Always hungry for it. I also have a Facebook, a Twitter, a Discord server, and a Patreon, so if you want to support me in any of those ways, please feel free to do so. Speaking of Patreon, thank you to all the patrons on the screen right now. I really appreciate you guys' continued support. You're the tits. Anyway, uh, before I go, who of the two characters on the screen do you want to see me make a video on? Let me know in the comments below or in my Discord, and I can get working on that video. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye!